Hi, welcome to PK's classes. Today we will study drugs used for diarrhea. So diarrhea is a condition in which the gastrointestinal motility increases. Okay, the gastrointestinal motility increases and there is liquid stool and not only liquid stool, the frequency also increases and frequency more than three times per day if it increases, then we call it as diarrhea condition. So, <clears throat> because of this, there will be loss of water and loss of electrolytes. So, water and electrolyte loss will be there. Okay. So, when we say treatment of diarrhea, that means we have to compensate the water loss, we have to compensate the electrolyte loss and specific treatment can be done where, when we know the cause. Okay. So, what are the cause of uh, uh, diarrhea? Mainly, there can be infection. Infection and infection with uh, the bacteria or infection with a protozoa entamoeba histolytica entamoeba so most cases the infection is caused by entamoeba and very rarely it is a bacterial infection so specific cause if we know then uh, we can treat this okay so, first thing is uh, to compensate the water and electrolyte loss and second uh, measure can be the uh, anti-infective agent and the, there can be other causes like toxins, any drugs, they can also uh, increase the motility, they can increase the motility and can also cause diarrhea. So, in that condition, we can reduce the GI motility. So, in, this, in those cases, we can reduce the GI motility. There is another condition called um, traveler's diarrhea. So, in, in traveling also, in some patients, induce the motility. So, in that case, that is called travel, traveler's diarrhea. And traveler's diarrhea, we can reduce the GI motility. Okay. And we can uh, we can absorb these toxins inside the uh, GI lumen. So protectives and uh, absorbents we can use. So they can absorb the toxins. Okay. So now let us discuss uh, the antidiarrheal drugs one by one. So number one, number one antidiarrheal. So anti diarrheal drugs antidiarrheal drugs number one is rehydration rehydration so that means the water lost the water and electrolyte lost due to diarrhea can be again compensated so rehydration can be oral rehydration or IV rehydration okay depending on the severity we can use oral or IV and when we use uh, oral by or ORS, oral rehydration salt or oral rehydration solution, okay. And um, mostly it contains the electrolytes, okay. So contains sodium, sodium chloride, uh, potassium chloride, sodium citrate, and glucose. All these are the components uh, which can be. Uh, put in one liter water and can be taken okay and uh, mm, there are uh, other uh, so, say, say IV fluids in case of IV fluids mostly it is dextrose and uh, dextrose saline okay so in this way we can rehydrate okay so to, uh, this can be done so this is number one then number two, um, we can have specific treatment, 
specific treatment and uh, we can use anti infectives anti infectives and anti it includes anti amoebic anti amoebic like metrodidazole tinidazole ornidazole okay then we can use antibacterial antibacterial like uh, ofloxacin cotrimoxazole the combination of sulfamethoxazole and uh, uh, trimethoprim amoxicillin the beta lactam antibiotic ampicillin Okay, etc. So the fluoroquinolones, including ofloxacin, can also be used. Then we can have a, a symptomatic. So number three for this. So for this number three, we can use uh, uh, for uh, symptomatic treatment. We can use uh, um, drugs. So. Uh, we can say supportive therapy or symptomatic symptomatic and supportive supportive therapy symptomatic and supportive therapy and this includes number one protectives protectives and adsorbents so they adsorb the toxins inside the lumen and here the examples are kaolin pectin bismuth salts so bismuth salts uh, in addition to their uh, protective and adjuvant action they also show antimicrobial action then charcoal they can be used as protectives and adjuvants okay and in in this third category so this is your third category so in the third category uh, let us write here in the third category uh, the second group can be the drugs which can reduce gi motility gi motility so gi motility uh, mainly the opioid opioid drugs opioid drugs so we know the there are three endogenous uh, opioids uh, Mm, encephalin endorphin and dynorphin so encephalin increases uh, you know uh, decreases the gi motility so encephalin is uh, degraded by encephalinase okay so we can in use encephalinase uh, inhibitor and encephalin like action the opioid drugs uh, or opioid derivatives mainly the pethidine derivatives uh reduce uh, the gi motility like uh, loperamide loperamide is the widely used drug diphenoxylate diphenoxylate loperamide these are the pethidine derivatives and they reduce the gi motility and the second the endogenous opioid peptide called encephalin 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 is degraded by degraded by the enzyme encephalinase so we can use uh, so we can use the encephalinase inhibitor so encephalinase inhibitor can be your rase rase cardo trail okay, rase cardo trail this uh, this can be your drug which can reduce j motility and in addition to them <coughs> so this is second a uh, protective and adjuvants b gi motility uh, reducers then we can have c c the drugs uh, uh, mainly uh, in case of antibiotics uh, induced diarrhea so when we say drugs there are mainly antibiotics because these antibiotics 
besides uh, killing the harmful bacteria they also uh, cause loss of the useful bacteria the gi flora gastrointestinal flora is also destroyed and because of which there can be diarrhea so in that case along with antibiotics we can use the useful bacteria in lactobacillus so the lactobacillus spores in millions we can use and uh, this lactobacillus uh, uh, we can also obtain from our uh, probiotics probiotics uh, and in our home we can uh, get from cod cod yogurt buttermilk okay so they they can be used in combination with antibiotics to inhibit antibiotics induced diarrhea okay so besides this uh, a b c there is another drug uh, which uh, right let us say 3d the octreotide octreotide we know it is a somatostatin analog and somatostatin analog uh, this uh, reduces secretion of many Uh, components like uh, secretion of gastrin and secretin motilin um, vasoactive intestinal peptide pancreatic uh, polypeptide so because of this action this can also uh, reduce the gi secretions and uh, uh, reduce uh, can uh, be used in case of diarrhea so for diarrhea treatment we can use this so in this way we can treat diarrhea by using drugs uh, which can uh, compensate the water and electrolyte loss or can uh, uh, specifically kill the uh, microorganism uh, causing diarrhea or we can uh, absorb the toxins or we can reduce the gi motility or we can uh, compensate the bacteria loss by using lactobacillus or uh, we can use the synthetic somatostatin analog octreotide thank you